to my uh, YouTube channel. So it seems that my previous, one of my previous videos where I looked at um, how much energy I generated using my solar arrays and how much money I saved um, up to the end of August uh, was quite popular on YouTube. So, and I had a number of requests asking to go over the actual solar panel and battery setup that I have. So in that video, I'm going to do just that. By the way, if you are interested in my journey with solar panels, battery, uh, my battery and just becoming more green, um, please um, subscribe, hit that bell notification app, uh, icon. I also have a, uh, a Facebook page called uh, Dr. Chris J. Barnett, Nanotechnology, Nanotechnologist and Tutor. Uh, links are down in the description below. Um, so if you'd like to go and like that, please do. So, going over my setup, um, in this video we'll have a look at the solar panels and then I'll take you into the utility room to have a look at the um, inverter and battery and then we'll have a look at the consumer unit as well. So, I'll do the first part of this about the solar panels just from the picture because it's, I'm not going to be able to get any better footage from standing at the back of my garden uh, with the uh, video camera. So, we'll do this from the picture. So, in this picture, this is the roof of our house. It's south facing, it's in Sketty, it's on the top of the hills. So we have no uh, shadow in from any trees or anything like that or any other buildings. And on the roof we have 12 Q-Cell ML G9 385 watt black framed monode white back sheet um, solar panels. So as I say the, the important thing to take away from this is that the company is Q-Cell and they are 885 watts. Which means that all 12 of them will put out um, about eight, uh, one thousand, sorry, four thousand, uh, seven hundred uh, kilowatts at maximum uh, efficiency. So if we have a perfect day. So as you can see from the picture, um, our neighbours have a dormer, and that does cast a shadow over the um, panel. Some of the panels, uh, when the uh, early in the morning, when the sun is rising. Um, so what we've also had installed is on the three panels that those affect are some Tygo optimizers. So these just take into account that if you have a string of solar panels connected in series, that if one of them is acting less efficiently than the others, because there's shadow on over it, all the others are effective and act at the lowest uh, solar panel efficiency. So the Tygo optimizers, um, or Tygo optimizers um, compensate for that. Our solar panels are arranged in two strings of six, so six of them are connected in series and then the other six are connected in series. And as you can see, just by that bedroom window, there's a cable coming down near the downpipe. Um, that's the two cables coming down off our roof. That goes down um, the back of our house and the utility room is just on the side where we'll go to now. So we're now in the utility room. Um, it's a bit cramped in here, so um, forgive the filming for this, but we will try. So the cable, as you see, comes down. The door's behind me. It comes in behind this bit of wall here. Through this hole where we've got also some piping down here. So these are the two strings coming from the solar panels. And they come down into these two uh, DC isolators. So there's one for each of the strings. And then they come out of the bottom here and into this Solis uh, 5 kilowatt inverter. So this is a Solis uh, RHI 5K 48ES 5G. Um, so you've got the two strings coming in. So you can see that this inverter has the uh, ability to take in the two strings. So that comes in there. And here's the inverter and the display. So you can see at the moment we are producing one kilowatt of power off the roof. We're charging the battery at 0.84 kilowatts, which is at 56% full. This display isn't great for measuring the house. The house is currently using about 0.2 of a kilowatt hour and we're not exporting anything to the grid. Um, so there's the inverter. Out of the bottom of the inverter, we have these orange and black cables which go down to this pure drive 5 uh, kilowatt hour battery. There is also a data cable that links the two so the um, inverter can speak to the battery to find out what's going on. 
And then over this side of the inverter, we have, first of all, this gray fin here is the, um, basically the Wi-Fi connection. It's a data logger. So that takes what's on that screen and now puts it to an app. I'll do a separate video about the app. We have the AC cable coming out the back and then this is another uh, data cable. Um, it's part of the C, it's actually connected to a CT clamp. So what this does is the AC and the CT clamp goes into this little fuse box, um, which has a power meter on it. And it's basically isolators for the battery and the um, inverter. The AC also goes up first into this AC isolator switch and then down into the fuse box. We then have the uh, cable coming out with the CT clamp that goes up the wall and into the kitchen. So, now... so we're now looking in our kitchen cupboard at our consuming unit. So this was here originally. Um, we think it's quite old. Um, here is our smart meter. So this was actually installed early in the year when we went over to a smart meter. And these three boxes here were installed as part of our solar installation. So the cables come down the back into from the inverter or from uh, um, along the top of the cupboards and goes into another isolator switch. Um, it then goes up into this uh, energy meter. So when I spoke to the guy, he said this isn't um, essential for the uh, work, but it is a uh, legal requirement for them to put in. So this um, is basically measuring the amount of import and export. And then this goes out to another fuse box, uh, which has the main switch on it and the solar drive. And then the tails come out the bottom, go into our smart meter, which then gets distributed out to the rest of the house, um, as usual, um, back to the consumer unit. So that basically sums up our insulation. So in uh, just to sum up, we've got the 12 panels on the roof set into two streams of six. It's coming down onto uh, the Solus inverter, which is also connected up to a pure drive five kilowatt uh, hour battery. Um, it then goes through a series of isolator switches um, back into this. Oh, and just one more thing. Here is the CT clamp that you saw connected up to the Solus inverter. So all this, including all the work, the scaffolding, everything, in, um, was just under £8,900.